everyone, Bob Smitty here with another video. This time I will be praising IHE. Ahe! Okay, I know it's not like that, but you know, when you have the abbreviated version or... Wait. What is it called when, when, when it's not necessarily abbreviated, but... AKA, I hate everything, AKA Alex. I will not say his last name because privacy concerns. You know, I was thinking since my last video did so well, I'll do another one. I just want to take a moment and say, I love British people. I love their comedy. I'm sure it's a more dry comedy than us Americans are used to, but it's funny. Now, is it British people or is it English people? Because it seems like people on the internet get offended when you get it wrong. I mean, you think it's British people because Great Britain, you know, the island of Great Britain, and then if you try to say English people, then it's like, no, it's Great Britain. So I, I don't know, whatever I say, I'm sorry if I get it wrong, but you know, I'm, I'm trying to be positive here. You know, I really like their accents too. Jolly good day, governor. right -o, old chap. Oh, what a lovely day for a walk and tea. You like some good old fish and chips, mate? Welcome to my humble abode. <laughs> when you invest your tuppence, Wisely in the bank, safe, and sound. God blimey! Manchester United is the only good football team in the whole bloody Europe. I just defended all of Great Britain. Positivity? A lot of their comedy has been born through cynicism. I mean, just look at Monty Python's Flying Circus or The Office, just to name a few. Yes, The Office was a British show originally. You know, it's crazy how many Americans think that The Office was an American-made thing. Jeez, get it right. You know, I'm very concerned about I Hate Everything. I mean, there's... His videos recently haven't been the same. He's been going a little crazy recently. And here's a few reasons why. First of all, nearly everything he says is being turned into a meme. I made that. <laughs> Secondly, his recent videos have been, uh, well, they're not the whole clip show thing anymore. It's, it's become like he takes his camera and he just goes everywhere and he's like, I need to show you something. I need to show you something this instant. Star Keem. No, it's Keem Star. But listen, K dust is relatable because it's a challenge we all have to face and try to conquer at one point or another. And the third reason, he loved Star Wars The Force Awakens. <gasps> I know, right? I mean, that movie had so many flaws. I, mean, okay, I love Star Wars ever since I was a kid. You know, I loved the Star Wars movie. Okay, the prequels were kind of crap. Yeah, but I love Star Wars, the original trilogy, and this movie. The Force Wagons, it just, it just, it's, it's, and then it's, and people are just like, oh, we love Star Wars The Force Awakens, but it was, it was, it did, you know, it, it had problems, obvious problems, and all these Americans and, and people around the world just like, oh, we know it has problems, but we love it anyway, you know, the movies are not like, you know, unwanted family members, okay? They need to, they need to... It's not about the feminism thing, it's just the fact that they took this movie and instead of it standing on its own two legs, they just said, oh, let's take episode four, five, and six and put it into one lovable bundle and then maybe they'll accept that as a movie. No, that's not, no. You, you don't, you don't, no. I mean, I like J.J. Abrams, you know, the what direction he was going in the beginning, but then it's like, all these different things happen, plot points that make no sense, and then, and then, pfft, it's like stepping on a landmine, and then saying, oh, it wasn't that bad. No, no, it wasn't that bad. You just lost your whole freaking leg. A lot of people say, oh, it's just a movie, get over it. Star Wars is not just a movie. It's like a way of life almost. If you, if, when you get something like that wrong, that's like... I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I just... It's, it's, it's personal. It's personal to me. You, you don't... You don't, you don't take someone's childhood and, and then, and then poop all over it. That's... 
you know, I don't want to talk about it here. I don't want to talk about it. It's, that's a whole other video. That's a whole other, I'll probably make a Star Wars rant video later, but I know it's like six, seven months late now, but it's, JJ, what have you done? Okay, you know, you, Alex, you have some good reasons for liking it. I'll say that. The reason I like IHE is because he's not afraid to say what he thinks. I really am surprised he doesn't get as much hate as he's had, especially when he did the PewDiePie video about the PewDiePie rabid fans. I mean, you're right on that one. Just like Leafy is here in Hey Watch Your Mouth, his content is satire. And the phrase, I hate everything, is just a hyperbole. It doesn't mean that he literally hates everything. It's just used to encompass the things that he does hate. And the ironic thing about it is that some of his earlier videos include, I hate Facebook, I hate Twitter, and yet he has both. Hypocrite! I'm just kidding. I'm a hypocrite too. It's, it's an American trait. <laughs> and he still to this day has not done a face reveal, which, you know, I think is fine. I mean, it's fine that you don't show your face, you know, that way you don't give a face to the things you hate, which the stalkers would like. They try to come get you. And that would be bad. Hey, maybe when I get enough subscribers, like to a certain number, I can do a face reveal. I think I started watching IHE back in, I think it was last fall, I want to say. Yeah, because I think it was, it was right around the time of the Daddy Derek incident. You remember that, Alex, don't you? I mean, wasn't that a fun incident? The whole, you know, him threatening to sue you and, oh, yeah, no, I was being sarcastic on that one. I'm sorry, it's... That guy, Derek, Derek Savage, that guy. Ooh, woo, ee, yeah. You know, you know, it's a good thing that the YouTube community came together and helped you on that one, because that was, that was, I mean, I mean, I can't even imagine what, you know, you went through. Yeah, I think it was Your Movie Sucks, Katakaris, and a bunch of your fans. Yeah, they really supported you on that one. Good Lord. What I would have done in that position is probably just like roll up in a ball in the corner and just, just weep. But what I think is so cool is how the entire YouTube community came together after your channel got deleted, I think a few other people's channels got deleted, and everyone just came together as a community and fought this thing. That was awesome. See, that's one of the things I love about YouTube. You can voice, not only can you voice your opinions, but the community can come together to help each other. You know, I know this might sound a little weird, but Alex is kind of like the brother I never had. Because, you know, when you, when you look at, like, siblings that are born around the same time, start thinking like one of them will be completely fearless, the other one will just be a complete whip. Then, to be honest, I'm kind of the one be one, I guess. Because I, some of the things that Alex does, some of the things he goes after, I would never dare go after because of backlash. You know, a lot of internet backlash. You say, oh, well, I don't like one thing. And then everyone's like, oh, how dare you, oh. You know, I was very surprised that PewDiePie's fans did not eat you alive, Alex. <laughs> I mean, you made that one video about PewDiePie's rabid fans, and I mean, what was it like? I think 2,000 dislikes and like 36,000 likes. That's crazy. I mean, I, I think, I think they identified with you. I think the people who watched that video that were PewDiePie's fans actually watched the entire video, which is amazing. I mean, how many YouTubers who don't make content and just watch videos? How many of those guys actually watched the entire video? You know, and not dislike it immediately upon seeing the title. Like they click on the title, uh, to the link of the video, and then two seconds in, dislike, and then they leave. It's like, why won't you at least just watch the darn thing? Now, Alex actually takes the time to make the videos good. He doesn't just push one out and rush it, you know, like I do most of the time. Because, you know, quotas, timing, your fans are waiting on you. That, that kind of pressure, yeah. I mean, it's frustrating. I know how you feel, Alex. I know how you feel. I mean, this this crap, man, you know, everyone's expecting you to do a video like once a week. And if you go past a week, you start thinking, oh no, my subscribers are leaving me. I mean, I know how that feels. I mean, yes, I'm, I'm just a small YouTube channel right now, but you know, gosh. I mean, even I feel that pressure. I don't even have that many subscribers. 
But hey, you know, maybe one day I can be in the big leagues like you. I mean, keeping a large group of people on the internet entertained, I mean, that's a tough job. Because you're constantly competing with other YouTubers. But, you know, about your anxiety thing, yeah, dude, you need to relax. Just take a break from making videos, like you said. Just kick back, relax, just don't don't worry about what people say. Don't worry people going on your Twitter, Oh, you haven't made a video in a while, we're gonna make a video. Just 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 tweet back and be like, look, dude, I'm taking a break. Chill out. I'm trying to relax. I, I just wanna take a break and, and you know, nice little vacation. Walk around in a park some. Don't just, oh, oh, I gotta make a video. Oh. You know, and about relaxing, why don't I show you how to relax? I mean, seriously, I mean, free of charge, of course. Now, here's what you do. You get up from your chair. Okay, you go over here. Oh dear. And you, you sit, you sit down, or lay down. Lay down, I prefer laying down. So that's what you do, that's how you relax. Don't worry about those people commenting that are like, Oh, you need to put up and have a video, right? No, don't worry about that. Just relax, you know. <clears throat> don't put my shoes on the sofa. You know, this is a really comfy sofa, by the way. Except for the fact that it creates, like, thousands of jolts of electricity. I mean, seriously, this couch generates, like, so much static electricity, it's not even funny. You know, your anxiety video got me thinking, maybe I should protect my private information more exclusively, you know? Just, because yeah, I mean, what if I get to the point when people are trying to hunt me down? I mean, trying to find out everything about me. Because that's, that's scary, you know. I don't want to die just yet. I, you know, still got things to do. So Alex, that is my video message to you. And be sure to keep working on your content. I really enjoy your stuff. Oh, and remember, stay positive. Oh, you know what? You could go with that idea you had, the one for Star Wars. You know, the I Love series? Why don't you do that? There you go. Now you have like a second like offshoot thing to do besides I Hate, you can do I Love. I mean, your channel will still be I Hate Everything, but a love thing wouldn't be bad. Yeah, definitely go with the I Love Everything stuff. Because, you know, hyperbole. <laughs>